What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. And today I'm doing a budget Pogo 39 deck profile with the cards from XBT2A, Evolution and Mutation. So I actually, in this past Car Expo, last week was Car Expo, uh, or rather, two days ago was Car Expo, and I met so many new body fighters uh, in the exhibition. So it's really cool to see brand new faces in uh, body fight scene because the game has finally gotten the love it deserves. So there are a ton of players that actually just started out started out with their start decks and trial decks and decided that they want to go into uh, and go out and try different decks but however some of the decks are actually quite expensive so right here i have a deck that is actually made up of uh, quite a lot of commons and rares so they should be able to you should be able to pick up the deck um, easily and build it yourself so um, in this video i'll be showing you my deck list and some combos you can pull off with this deck so this deck is highly recommended for people who want to try the power of the Purgatory Knights. As you guys know, I actually am a Purgatory Knights player as well. So I actually built this deck to feel similar to the deck. Which means this deck is able to dish out tons of damage while being able to maintain its advantage. So um, so yeah, let's get on to the deck profile. This deck is really cool and recommended by you guys because you guys want to try out the deck used by the Suku Ryuanji, aka the Purgatory Knight. So yeah, here we go. Alright, the body we use here is uh, Damios Early. Damios Early is really cool because he gives you an additional attack and food sacrifice for your Damios Sword Dragon. So at a cost of 1 gauge, you can call him out after after sacking your whole field, you can call him out. And you can sacrifice him and resend your Damios Sword Dragon so that you can do additional attacks. So in, in conclusion, you call him out, you do for 2 damage. Uh, Damios sack, sack itself away, you can do another 2 damage and resend. So it's a very very good card and I actually use this uh, as a body for my main deck as well. So this flag is the Spurgatory Knights. Alright, uh, here are some very interesting cards. Uh, four copies of Deathsicle Cavalry. Deathsicle Cavalry can be used as a size 1 card. So if you have an original size 2 monster with Purgatory Knights in his card name on your field, the size of this card is reduced by 2. So um, one card, one way I combo him is I combo him with Graham's Lance Dragon because originally Graham Lance is a size 2. So he will be a size 1 monster. Imagine a size 1 monster with the double attack ability and so much power so one cool thing is you in this deck you actually there's two ways to play it you either do the triple formation sacrifice everything then use the weapon to swing or you call or you do it with your Daniel sword dragon which is the basic purgatory knight combo so there are many ways fun ways to play this deck and many ways to otk with this deck so his ability is when this card is destroyed you can put up to one size to a less monster with purgatory knights in, from your drops onto your hand so uh, you can fetch back any stuff you need so that you can um do your loop again next turn, or you could actually just call him in the set uh, attack, and you can just leave it there. Your opponent destroy it. You can search back your Damio Sword. You can do the OTK again. So it's a very very uh, nice card to have, and uh, since he's able to drop his size by two, uh, size one, you you will be able to play size one rush with this deck, and of course we play weapons as well. So uh, size one rush with weapons can do a lot of damage, right? So um we just consider him as a size one for now. Because he's able to drop to size 1. Next up, the main boss monster of the deck, Damio Sword Dragon. He's the leader of the Purgatory Knights, one of the strongest body fight monsters. And also, similar to Shadow Paladins, he sacrifices his comrades for more power or resending. So, counter during your turn, you can destroy another monster with Purgatory Knights and you can resend this guy. So, attack, you sacrifice a card, then you can resend. Okay, most likely you do this attack, attack. Sacrifice, resend, attack. Ooh, that's a lot of attacks. Uh, back then, Purgatory Knights was fearsome because of their ability to resend. It is one of those cards that sacrifices comrades for more power. A really, really cool concept in my opinion because um, it's, really, it's one way to tell you that I'm going to kill you in one turn because multiple attacks just wins the game. So this is our boss monster, Damiel Sword Dragon. Four copies of Graham Lance Dragon. Gra Graham Lance is also one, one very, very pop popular card when... The Purgatory Knights first appeared. His ability is when you have a buddy monster with Purgatory Knight. So my buddy is a Purgatory Knight. His size is reduced by 1. So it's a size 1 monster with a very very powerful set. 6-2-2 two, two stats for size 1 is amazing. And also he has the counter ability which allows him to gain even more critical by sacrificing its comrades. So you can sack 1 Purgatory Knight against 1 crit. So yeah, this is a very good size 1 monster. He's basically, I, con I consider him size 1 actually. Alright, so 4 copies of the Buddy Monster, Damio Sword Early. Damio Sword Early, as I explained earlier, you can call him out from your hand by paying 1 gauge and you can attack with him and then sacrifice him again. So, um, that's a lot of attacks. 
Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon Knights, four copies of Necro Palm Dragon. Necro Palm Dragon is amazing because he's able to do give you even more attacks. So one example is uh, his ability is when this card is destroyed either by battle, so your opponent attack you. Let's say your opponent, opponent, he attacks you, he dies. You can call out another size, another Purgatory Knights from the drop zone. So when this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you may call a size one or less monster with Purgatory Knights from the drop zone, other than itself, then call it. So it's very very good, especially if you consider that you attack with this, attack with Demios, attack this, they call monster, maybe send attack. Then attack the restand. Oh, you can see you can see all the crazy combos and where I'm going with it. So it's a very very powerful card. Uh, and it's definitely one of my favorite Pogo Terry Knights because he just gives you so much food for restanding. Four copies of uh Shift Turn Dragon. Shift Turn Dragon is a very 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 popular card even in today's Pogo Terry Knights because it's able to do additional one damage. Uh, at first glance, this might seem as a very very weak monster. This one crit, but his ability is when this card is destroyed by a card effect. Uh, you can steal on an opponent's gauge and deal one damage to your opponent. So in a way, he's actually um, a two crit anyway because you swing with him, you sack away with your purgatory knights. You can burn another damage with me, it's two crit. And the best part of all is that one damage can't be escaped by dragon shields. So yeah, sometimes that burn damage is actually better than battle damage. So four copies of um, evil gravy dragon. Evil gravy dragon is also one of the the few basics uh, purgatory must place in the past. When it's during a phase when this card is destroyed by monster effect, you can draw a card. So, uh, then you'll sack it. You can discard and you can draw a card. Draw some dragon shields and you can survive more. So, it is a very, very good card. Definitely a budget card to play. Alright, for spells. Uh, spells is definitely. Um, this set has given us a lot of good spells. So, first up is Bluff Oak Formation. Basically, when you have a Purgatory Knights on your field, you can cast this card, you can draw one card. For this turn, all your cards with Purgatory Knights on the field cannot be destroyed by opponent card effect. So, um, the reason why you play 4 is because you want to do your 100 attack combo. Like, you can do a lot of damage with this deck. And if your opponent were to destroy Damios, it's kind of wasted. So, you want to like protect your Damios Sword Dragon. So, that's why we play 4 copies of this. But if you're playing against non-destruction decks, you could take them out. But I'll still play because it's, you still draw E1 either way. So, it's a, it's a, uh, it covers itself. It's a very, very good card. Four copies of We Traverse Through the Black Soap uh, Demonic Path. Um, this card is so. This card is basically the Blue Dragon Shield for Purgatory Knight. You may only cast this card if you have um during a during an attack and you have an open center nullify attack and if you have a Purgatory Knight in your drop zone, which is pretty much guaranteed because you are playing a Purgatory Knight deck, uh, charge one gauge. So it is a Blue Dragon Shield for Purgatory Knights. Four copies of uh, Black Dragon Shield is basically Green Dragon Shield for Sh Darkness Dragon World. Knife fire attack, knife fire damage, and you can gain one life. So it's a green dragon shield. One copy of Abyss Symphony because you'll be able to get some draw power. Pay one gauge to draw two cards. You can only cast this if you are six life or less. One copy of Crushed Body and Sustained Mind. So this card is used in the anime by the Suku Ryuenji. Um, he basically anytime your Purgatory Knights monster will get sacrificed or destroyed by card effects. So if they get destroyed by Demio's resending effect, you can charge one gauge. And his second ability is if you if you were to die or become life zero, you can put this card in the drop zone and check your top card of the deck. If you check a spell, you become your life become two. So you just basically this card gives you an insurance against your opponent, so it is a very fun card. I find it. At least the gauge actually helps a lot. Alright, let's go into weapons. For copy of the brand new weapon, the Damio Sword. Swords of the Purgatory Knight's leader, Damio Sword. So Damio Sword, a uh, very good card. Equip cost one gauge. We're doing a turn when I a monster with Purgatory Knights on the field is destroyed, you can draw one card. Just by this ability alone makes this card amazing because most of the time you'll be always sacrificing monsters so that you can draw a card. And and then a card with Purgatory Knights gain plus 3k power. So only once per turn ability though, so we use it wisely. But either way, drawing a free card every single of your battle phase is worth it. So for, for impact, we play 4 copies of Distortion Punisher. Um, the classic impact used by the Purgatory Knights version of the Suku Ryuenji. So, yeah, you just basically pay 4 gauge to deal 4 damage to your opponent. It's a final phase card. And you could use counters final if somehow your opponent were to pay life and they think they could finish you off, you can counter final them. Um, rarely use a skill, but the 4 gauge for 4 damage is nice to have. It's basically a Gargantra Punisher. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy um, my deck profile. Oh, wait. 
I need to do the combos. Alright, so how do we play this deck, okay? Um, so one of the combos I do is any any of these and size 1 monster. So this is what we call the size 1 size one rush. Alright. So I'll show you how powerful this deck is. Even though it might seem like um, a very basic deck, it is still a very powerful deck. Alright, so let's say you have one card in your hand like this. Now this formation is all you need to do is lots of damage. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's put this. So this is the this is what we call the size one rush. So we have all your size ones are uh, these guys and this and this will become size one due to his uh, due to their abilities. So yeah. So first two damage, one damage is three, four, five. This guy is double attack, six, seven, six, seven, just like that. Then you activate its ability to sacrifice one monster. Sacrifice him. You can draw one card. Oh, sorry, you have to attack like this. <laughs> uh, misplayed. So I will attack with this four, two times, two, two, one. Then this one activates skill, sack this one off. Become 3 crit, 2, 2, 1, 5, 8, 10. Just 10 damage of it. And let's not forget we can also call um, damage so early to the center and do another 10. So it's 12 damage just like that. Yeah, it's easy. So another combo we can do is the Poker 30 Knights combo. We call it the Demios combo. This is this one is very similar to the Secret Pack Demios. So we have Demios or Dragon. And we have this guy. This guy is just so good in any Purgatory Knight this Purgatory Knight stack. Alright. So this is one of my favorite combo. So is this is the triple the guard formation combo. So attack for one. Attack for two. Attack for two. That's a uh, total of five. Sacrifice this card. So yeah, damage withstands. You can his ability call a size one out, call a size one monster. So that's total of one, two, five damage already. Five damage, six damage, seven, eight damage, eight damage, sacrifice, nine damage, withstand. Then another two damage. Uh nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, then you can call this guy out. So another two damage, thirteen, sacrifice again, fourteen, fifteen. See, there is 15 damage with such a simple deck. So yeah, so you guys who want to try out the power of the Purgatory Knights, definitely check out this deck. I thank you guys for watching till the end. If you guys like to buy decks from uh, like these, be sure to check out buddy-mart.com. Links in the description down below if you guys want to check out decks. We have tons of decks of death, of course, uh, fully built ones. We have these as well. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Take Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.